crowds out in force undeterred. Protesters avoiding police barricades and marching across the city of Melbourne, rallying against weapons manufacturers and their role in the deaths of civilians in Israel's war on Gaza. The fight continues, it needs to continue, and we want to see uh, sanctions, arms uh, embargo on Israel, and we're getting closer. I think you know the bloodshed uh, it itself speaks and uh, it galvanises people. This second day of demonstrations outside Australia's largest military convention followed violence between protesters and police on Wednesday. Dozens of people were injured and more than 40 arrested. The Victorian Greens party is calling for an independent inquiry into what they say was an excessive use of force by officers, something police in the state of Victoria deny. But we can rest assured that Victoria police members did everything they could yesterday and more to absorb a lot of provoking a lot of violence from particular people who turned up with an intent to disrupt uh, and to be violent. The distractions around inquiries, rather than being thankful and respectful to Victoria Police, says all you need to know about the Greens political party. Police used new powers to search people without explanation on Thursday. But there is absolutely no right to come to uh, protests uh, with, as I said before, as I'm advised by the Chief Commissioner, with rocks, with bottles, with liquids, with the intent to not peacefully protest. While it was calmer on the second day of protests, some streets were blocked as activists criticised what they described as government inaction over the war in Gaza. Protests like this across Australia have been defined by their endurance, consistently demanding an end to the war in Gaza and the cutting of ties with those supplying weapons to Israel and its own arms manufacturers. This is a culmination of 11 months of continuous demonstrations with protesters determined to play a key role in shifting public opinion. Their efforts reinforced by smaller crowds. They are horrified. Sorry. <laughs> the horrors of what is going on. And it's all smoke and mirrors and death. A sentiment echoed in Australia's second largest city with a silent act of resistance. 16,000 kites laid out, a solemn public tribute to all the children killed in Gaza. Danielle Robertson, Al Jazeera, Melbourne. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.